Welcome. I'm Dan Borick. I look after the wines for Paradise Ridge Winery in Sonoma County, California. Today we're going to taste uh, with you um, our 2014 Sparkling Shiraz. Um, so the first step will be to open that bottle of wine. This is uh, exactly how you should open a bottle of uh, sparkling wine carefully. Uh, sparkling Shiraz originates uh, from South Australia um, and is a well-known uh, varietal down there. And this is how you do it. You should hold the cork and twist the bottle. And this is a trick I've learned. Do it with one hand. So look at this. Oh man, look at that beautiful color. Oh. Mm, that's wonderful, wonderful. climate, uh, grown from a cool climate grapes uh, in the Russian River Valley. So there's some lovely aromatics that we get with uh, fruit that's grown in a cool climate. Mm, there's some lovely blue fruits there and, and some spice. Maybe some licorice, maybe red licorice or something like that. Uh, and it smells wonderful. I just want to dive into this glass and explore. So we'll do this. Well, once that first power of effervescence and bubbles hits your tongue, leads through and where the fruit just kicks in and then just the palate's filled with all sorts of different fruits and spices mm. and that and it goes follows through to the finish that it's just sitting there there's some some lovely soft red fruits there some raspberry strawberry and again more of that blueberry on the palate mm. quite delicious i like to think that uh, um, this is a unique wine for california but its real home is is, is in australia where we uh, um, I spent some time back in the, the late 90s and, and fell in love with this bottling. Uh, Australians would drink this all pretty much any time they felt like uh, celebrating, but a, a big time for, for them was uh, on a Sunday brunch that uh, the families and friends would get together and this would be the staple for those kind of times. And uh, it goes with all sorts of great fare, you know, all that hearty breakfast stuff, omelettes and sausages and bacon, really just beautiful pastries and, and even with uh, a bowl of lovely fresh fruit with some maybe some cream on it would just just explode and make this uh, a very 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 sensational experience i'm going back for a little of my own mm. it's rich dark just the right amount of bubbles it's nicely balanced um, really lets that fruit sink um, on the mid palate. Absolutely delicious. Well, now that you've had your first taste of this wine, what do you think? Do you think you'd want some more? I know I know one would like some more. Mm, just wonderful seductive. There's that beautiful fragrance that's going on in the glass here. Um, let's explore it a little more. All sorts of wonderful, delicious fruits going on. Plum and raspberry, blue fruits. Delicious. I think this is a wine that you can now, you've tasted and you're enjoying it, pour at any celebration you would like to. I have drunk more than one bottle of this in my time, and I always feel that the, the energy goes up in the room, and very often the, the level of conversation and the volume of conversation goes up. This is a very social wine. People love to talk about wine, and this is one that makes it easy to talk about. I think that's a real special component about sparkling Shiraz. So let's look at some more pairings with this wine. Um, it, it is strong and bold enough uh, to, to stand up to some much hardier foods than you would imagine. Um, here I have a plate of, of riblets that are, with, have fennel and uh, an aromatic honey on them, and I'm dying to get into those uh, um, in a little bit. But also let's talk about other food that you may enjoy. If, if, as the Australians would say, if you're gonna put something on the barbie, this is a wine that's really going to, to fare well with that. It's powerful enough and, and rich enough to really go with some very, very well-flavored foods, strongly flavored foods. Think uh, Oriental foods, you know, Peking duck, uh, Sichuan food, little spiciness, all are gonna go wonderfully with this wine. It loves that, you know, some, how about some ribs, some sweet and sticky ribs, that'd be just wonderful uh, with this wine. Um, you know what you like, you know, uh, 
what you feel is going to be good with this wine, so just try it and see how it goes. This vineyard uh, is in uh, an area we call the uh, Santa Rosa Plains in the Laguna of Santa Rosa. Um, it's a very cool spot, um, so cold nights and uh, cool foggy mornings. That really helps growing uh, the fruit. Um, that cooler climate preserves a lot more of the delicate aromatics that uh, um, you'll find in this wine and that's, that's really, really important. Um, Syrah can be grown in warmer climates and, and cooler climates and, and, and the grape really takes on what we call its sense of, its, its place, its sense of place. Um, the soil that the, the grapes are grown in, uh, the, the, the drainage, the amount of sunlight, the area that it's grown, what else is grown around it, all play a role in, in how that wine will eventually taste. Heaven.